Hello, and welcome to another edition of Business Automations with Ben. Today's topic is Gmail. If you're an entrepreneur or running a small business, chances are you're leveraging Gmail. I'm gonna show you a few ways to save some more time by automating your Gmail on IFT. The trigger for this first applet is coming from the IFT finance service where you can automate updates for any publicly traded stock. No one has time to stare at stock tickers all day unless you're a day trader and that's literally your job. Let's say you might be looking for an opportunity to sell. So you might pick a trigger like if the price rises above or you might be looking to, for an opportunity to buy. So you might pick a trigger like price drops below. I personally would like to continue to buy stocks. So I'm going to pick price drops below as my trigger. And since this is a Gmail video, we're going to pick the Google stock ticker. Over the past six months, this stock has seen a low of $86 and a high of $127. It's currently $122. So we're gonna set the price drop to 100 bucks. Type 100 here create trigger. Now for our action, click that add, type in Gmail. We're going to send ourselves an email. Okay, there's really no need to change anything here. Uh, I've got my Gmail account. The subject uh, default says stock name, stock drops below or is dropping. And the body is currently priced at, and it gives the price and the time for create action. And we'll continue. We'll leave this as the title. As a contractor, I get called to do a lot of in-home remodel jobs. The first thing I do when I show up is I start taking photos. Now these photos are gonna be for myself and for my subcontractors. I need to get certain photos to the electrician, certain photos to the plumber, certain photos to say, and heating and air guy. This stick tablet is gonna help me get all the photos exactly where I need them to go in a fraction of the time. The trigger for this applet is going to come from Google Drive and the trigger that we're going to use is new file in your folder. Okay, so the folder that we're going to pick for this applet is electrical and we're going to select create trigger. Now for our then that statement, click then that search for Gmail. We're going to send an email. Okay, so for the two address, I'm going to send this to the wire guy at gmail.com. That's my electrician. Always going to CC myself on all of these emails. Going to make sure the subject says file name added to electrical photos. We'll leave the subject as is and create action. Okay, so here is a quick view of my Google Drive. I'm going to start with the personal photos and just carry those over to personal. I'm now going to take the plumbing photos and add those to plumbing. And finally, the electrical photos to the electrical photo. Okay, so here within just a few seconds, here are the electrical photos that we just added to the electrical photo in Google Drive. I work really long hours and I don't always do the best job when it comes to letting my wife and kids know where I am. This next applet is going to help keep them informed where I am by notifying them by a Gmail every time I enter or exit certain areas. The trigger for this applet is gonna be from the location service, you enter an area. The address that I'm gonna put here is the address for the Home Depot near our house in Emeryville, California. We're gonna click create trigger. For the action, I'm gonna type in Gmail. Like last time, we're gonna send an email. The two address is gonna be my wife's email. I'm also gonna CC my kids. For the subject, I'm going to put, I'm at Home Depot, and then the current app will give them the time that I arrive. Create action. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you got something to say, let us know in the comments. Also, for more IF videos, you can click the link above. And remember kids, don't fail to automate your Gmail.